Can we have the next question? Any non-Muslim sister who would like to ask the question in English, you're most welcome. Any non-Muslim would like to ask the question in English from the sister's microphone. Yes. Any non-Muslim would like to ask a question? Sister, are you a non-Muslim? Yes. Yes. Are you a non-Muslim? Yes. I'm you're not Muslim. Christian. You're not Muslim? Yes, yes. Yes, I'm okay. Christian. Please, can you mention your name and pose your question? You're most welcome, sister. Please feel free to ask the question. Uh, I'm Christian. Uh, I want to ask you, in, in Christian, there is rules that respect parents and uh, if I tell two sentence in Islam shahadat of course I've hurt my parents uh, am I a bad daughter Itu. Am I a bad daughter? Are you a bad mother or are you a bad, bad. daughter? Daughter. Bad. Daughter. Bad. Daughter. Daughter. Sister has the question that she is a Christian. And in Islam, do you have to love your parents? And if she accepts Islam, she'll be hurting the parents. So will she be a bad daughter? That's your question, sister. Correct? Yes. Sister, when you accept Islam, in Islam, you have to love your parents much more than what you used to love before. Yeah. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's a Sahih Hadith. The Prophet said, paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. Irrespective, your mother may be a Christian, she may be a non-Muslim, yet paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. You cannot disrespect your mother. You cannot be harsh to your mother. And I mentioned in my talk, it's mentioned in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 23 and 24. If one or both of your parents reach old age, don't say oof to them. Don't say a word of contempt. And do not repel them. But address them with honor and lower your wing of humility and pray to the Lord that cherish them as they bless me and bless them as they cherish me in childhood. So sister, if you accept Islam, you have to love your mother more. You have to care for her more. You have to listen to her more. Accept those things which she says, which goes against Allah and his Rasul. Only those things you don't have to obey, which goes against the teachings of the Quran and the authentic sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. For example, if she tells you, my daughter, wear blue color, and you don't like blue color, you hate blue color. But in Islam, you can wear blue color. So just because your mother says wear blue, you have to wear blue. You have to take care of, take care of her more. If you used to speak to her maybe in a day 20 minutes, now you speak minimum one to two hours with her every day. If you visit, if you are staying outside in some different home and you visit her once a week, you visit three times a week visit every day if she feels offended tell her mother even though you're offended with me i have found the truth in islam islam means peace acquired by submitting her will to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she should find the difference what is wrong with my daughter previously she used to listen to me only sometimes now she's listening to me always except something which i say against the quran so once she finds the difference that my daughter is more kind, more merciful to me, more loving to me, more caring to me, she's dabbing me more, sister, she will get influenced by you. And once you accept Islam, you are her pathway to Jannah. You have to love her, 
even if she scolds you, even if she gets angry with you, you have to love her more. Keep on loving her and keep on speaking to about the truth of Quran and the sayings of the Prophet. Okay. Do you get the answer, sister? Yes. Will you be able to do it? Inshallah. Inshallah. Sister, do you believe there is one God? Yes, only one God. Do you believe Jesus is God or Jesus is the messenger of God? Messenger of God. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. Masha, that means you're a Muslim sister. Would you like to say the Shahada? Would you like to say it in Arabic? Of course. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Is no. anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No one. Are you doing out of your own free will? Are you doing it out of your own free will? Yes. I'll say it in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And servant of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all your sins and may he grant you Jannah and through you may he get your relatives, your mother, your father close to Islam and may he spread the deen through you sister. Jazakallah shukran sister. Okay, thank you doctor. You're the most welcome sister.